everybody, this is a Medico Biaxial. It's a six pin lock with a sidebar which uh, runs down the right hand side here. And uh, it's the one with the rotating pins. It's quite a, a unique design. Uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with these to some degree at least. Uh, but I'll explain how they work properly um, as I'm taking it apart. Um, let's see, there's the security card for it there, which you'll need if you want to get keys cut. Uh, there's the bit on the key for this one. Uh, you can see the uh, the angles of the cuts just on there. Uh, this one here, it's like a, a key and knob, so it's sort of a, a door knob or something similar. Um, that's it working with the key. Now you see the, uh, the way it snaps like that, it's because of the sidebar. Um, as you're turning the key, the sidebar kind of pops into the plug as it's turning. Um, I have to put my thumb on that to pull the key out because the uh, the clip's off the back of it because it's an absolute fucking nightmare. There it is there. It's a complete nightmare to get that off. So to speed the video up to some degree, I, uh, I thought I would take that off prior. Uh, I'm going to tense this counterclockwise because we want to bind up the sidebar first. And yeah, it's kind of hard to explain what I'm doing, but you know, I feel for binding and fuck about with the pin by moving your pick back and forward, side to side. Sort of bouncing your tension, kind of like raking, but you're focusing on just one pin. And you want to do that with pretty much anything that's binding until you get down to just the one. So with a standard, a standard lock, you'll get only the one pin binding. Um, it does take a bit of trial and error. Um, there's there's kind of a there is a feeling in the plug that you get whenever the sidebar is set, but it's it's really really hard to describe. That might actually be it, you know. A bit of movement. Right, we'll go and set some pins and see how they feel. the sidebar is set, the, uh, the pins will give you a really, really crisp feedback. Uh, there's mushroom pins in these, so, ooh, now I've got a nice false set, that's actually a good sign, very good sign, because, actually, yep, yeah, that's it open, um, it can't physically go into a false set, there you are. One medical biaxial. Um, it can't physically go into a false set if the sidebar isn't uh, completely set, obviously, because it can't turn enough. So we're going to uh, see about getting this apart and find all my shit. All right. I'm trying to keep this in frame here, but. All right. If I get that there, you'll be able to see the sidebar as this is coming out actually. There you are, that's the sidebar for it. And I'll just hold that in with my thumb. So there's your sidebar. Uh, that hooks into a groove which runs down the side of the plug. I'll show you that in a sec. And then there's all your key pins. Uh, you'll see uh, along the bottom here these little black dots, those are uh, channels that run down the side of the pins and that's what the uh, the fingers on the sidebar actually hook into. If I get that out, there you go. Let's see if we can give you a black background there. <laughs> this is fidgety, but yeah, there's the, uh, the fingers. Uh, basically if, the, uh, if one or more pins aren't rotated properly then you know these have nothing to go into so this protrudes from the side there and that's uh, that's what keeps it locked up so there's a sidebar which I'll put there and then obviously your, your key pins so 
you can see uh, the side bars on the top here by the way so you can see those there as the key comes out then those rotate and yeah <laughs> yeah the idea is you're kind of you're kind of going in and you're going like this here to try and rotate them into place so you can see that one's spinning quite well actually um, but it is very very tricky to do uh, I will show you the key pins and then we'll take the the shit out of there so we'll do well, we'll do 1 to 6 or 6 to 1 we'll do 6 to 1 so there's pin 1 and if I sell that there won't be able to show you it, hopefully. Mm, that's going to be difficult, but yeah, you can sort of see the uh, the wee channel. Come on, bitch! Hey, there you go. You can see the wee channel that runs down the uh, the length of the pin there. And I think there's actually false uh, false grooves as well, but it's going to be too fucking hard to show you. And um, also, you can see the uh, the shape of the bottom of the pin there. It's, uh, they're cut at an angle. Obviously, that's how the uh, the angles and the key rotate them into place. This is going to be a long video. I can't even fucking gut normal shit in a reasonable amount of time. All right, there's five. There's four. There's three. Uh, the key pins in these are uh, are all serrated as well. So oh, your chances of raking one of these is fucking one in a million. Um, there you go. There's all your key pins there. Um, so I'll let you see those um, with all the, the angles and shit, and you can see the serrations there too. And then if we go, uh, we'll go from here. Where the hell are my fucking tweezers? Right, so we work from the back here. There is a mushroom pin. Come on, bitch! Oh, it's actually not very fucking easy to see. Um, fuck it, I'll set it down there and uh, I'll show you at the end. Um, so six is a mushroom, five is also a mushroom, um, if memory serves correctly I think the rest of them are just standard, so I'll just do it like that. Standard. Three is a standard. Two is a standard. Very strong springs in these as well. And then pin one is. Oh wait, is that a mushroom? Oh, okay. One's a mushroom. All right. Um, so there you go. Mushroom, three standard, then two more mushroom, and then again there's your sidebar with all the finger pins and the uh, the key pins there. And then if I turn these, you can see there's the uh, the wee sidebar groove on that one. And yeah, I'll not fidget about with the rest of them. You can actually see even from the uh, the bottom of them there. But yeah, that's uh, probably the fastest gutting I've ever done, ironically, so there we go. It usually takes me about 20 minutes to gut a normal fucking thing. So, hope you've enjoyed. Um, I don't know, uh, you know what I mean, I'm not an expert on these, so I can't really give you a full-on tutorial, but I mean, uh, if you do have one of these, uh, just do it one pin at a time, and you'll figure it out. I mean, there's there's a certain feeling to the plug whenever the uh, the sidebar is set and then from there it's basically just a six pin lock. The tolerances are, t are tight, you know, and uh, the mushrooms, yeah, they're, they're not really much trickier than spools to be honest, so, yeah, they are very, very difficult locks. Um, I mean, I, uh, I sat there for a good hour or so fucking practicing on that before I made the video, you know, 
So you're not going to sit there and pick one first time in a few minutes or anything. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheers.